Okay, gonna do a quick video for y'all out there. Uh, do some troubleshooting for you. If you're having issues with you well, uh, gonna give you some three or four uh, different pointers about uh, what to check before you have somebody come out. Uh, so if you wake up uh, one morning and, and you have a little bit of water but you have low pressure, a couple things for you to check. First, uh, check to see if you have a filter. Uh, most most people know they have a filter. They've been changing their filters. Uh, so uh, if you if you have low pressure, you've probably checked this or changed it. But some people uh, they they buy a house and haven't been in the house long and uh, either aren't aware of any filter or the filter's way up under the house and they haven't uh, been up under the house to see if there's one there. Uh, so so a quick and easy thing to do is just uh, a determine if there is a filter. And then if there is, most of them have a, a clear bowl on them. You can kind of do a visual glance and see if the filter stopped up itself. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't have a clear bowl, uh, you can just unscrew the bowl and uh, look at the filter itself. And uh, Generally, this is one of our biggest uh, things we find when we go to a well site and, and a customer is complaining of a low, low water pressure. Uh, generally, our number one thing we find is it's a it's a filter that hasn't been changed in a while. Uh, another thing to check if you're having low pressure is just kind of see if you have any leaks anywhere. Uh, do kind of a visual glance between the well and the, and the house uh, where the water line may be running under the ground. See if there's any water bubbling up or any uh, hydrants, hydrants out in the yard. Uh, they, they can tend to break uh, down at the bottom under the ground where they connect uh, from where you've been operating the handle on them uh, just through years that puts wear and uh, age on them. Uh, we've, we've actually had that happen. It can A leak can cause the water level in the well to drop, uh, which, which is going to mean your pump is going to pump less water. Uh, so that can cause low pressure as well. Uh, so that kind of covers a little bit about low pressure. If you don't have any water at all, uh, just kind of quick Glance first thing, locate your breaker and your breaker panel. Uh, make sure it's not tripped. Uh, make sure it's not bad. Uh, sometimes we've had breakers that will be in the on position, everything looks fine. Flip them off, flip them on, they start working again. Uh, again, that's sign of a bad breaker. Uh, but that's that's something that you can either tell us or if you have a breaker laying around, you can you can change it change it yourself and see if that does it fixes the problem. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, this is on not on most residential wells, but some wells have a have a larger pump in them, uh, generally 1.5 horsepower and above, uh, have a little uh, control box on them. And on the bottom, though, you'll notice these red buttons. Uh, some boxes have two, some boxes have one, but these are, this is an internal reset inside the box itself. Uh, generally, these will go out if there's Number one, if the pump's bad, uh, but number two, if, the, if you've had a lightning storm or any kind of electrical surge issues, uh, it, can, it can trip the reset, which, which can save your pump. Uh, you have to mash them pretty hard to actually get the resets to reset. Uh, so this can, you know, best thing to do would be locate the control box and mash the resets and see if that does anything. So those are just a couple quick and easy tips. Again, doesn't sound like much, but it can save yourself the time of uh, calling a service technician to come out. But at the same time, uh, if, you, if you still need somebody to come out, you can tell the service technician or the, or the well, well pump man that, hey, I've done these things. I uh, still don't have any water. Uh, that gives us a better idea of uh, what, what could possibly be going on with your well. So thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.